Hey, what's going on, everybody? Oh, man. If you need an, uh, another flask, of, uh, you can try visiting places. Okay. Um, mount the horse X. Uh, hey, what's going on, everybody? Thank you guys so much for coming to hang out with me today. I really do appreciate it. Oh, wow. Oh, jeez. Oh, wait. Hold on. Wait. Nope. My microphone fell. Why did this happen? Nope. This can't be. Okay, go. <laughs> um, alcohol begins to act... Uh, uh, you can call your horse with X. Okay. Thank you guys so much for coming to hang out with me today. I really do appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like button for me. Leave me your thoughts on it down below in the comments. And you can also subscribe to the channel for more Kingdom Come and other videos. So, uh, last time we, we did some stuff. We got the intro done. Uh... Oh man, here we go. Oh! Oh geez, the wound must be bandaged, uh, which Henry hasn't yet learned to do. You have to quickly get to someone. Uh, can I just... Will you... Go! Ah! Someone who can help you. Faster! Go, horse! Okay, this is really... I don't know where I'm going. Okay. Alright, this is bad. Okay, it's bad. How, where am I supposed to be going? Okay, I see it on my compass now. Left. I'll move to the left along the stream. Okay, this way? Left. Alright. My stamina is getting super low. Okay. Just a regular gallop here. Oh my god, they're right there. Are you kidding me? What if I run into this guy? Nothing? Okay. Oh my gosh. Go, 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 horse. Alright, my horse's stamina is going down now. The green meter down there. You guys like... Oh my god. <laughs> how how are we ever going to get away from those guys? Oh, my horse can jump. Okay. Help! Help! Alright, horse stamina is bad. Let's just do a regular gallop here. We'll regain some stuff. Okay, my health is going down. Please, anyone. Wow, how are we gonna get? How are we gonna get away from these guys? Wow, I don't, I don't know. Where am I going? Even I thought I was going towards uh, a waypoint on my map. Okay, there's a city up there. I see. Anyway, thank you guys so much for coming to hang out with me today. I really do appreciate it. I made it! Someone give him a drink and bring hot wine and bandages.
Tell me, boy, who are you and where are you from? What in hell's name happened? I've come from Scalitz. They burned it to the ground, slaughtered everyone. Who? Who burned it to the ground? A huge army. They attacked without warning. And, and they weren't Czechs or Germans either. Who then? I don't know. I've never seen armor like it or heard their language. Maybe Tartars? Tartars, you say? Yeah. Well, we'll deal with that later. First, let's have a look at that leg of yours. Grit your teeth, boy. I'm gonna pull that arrow out. Easy. All done. You were lucky, lad. The arrow missed the bone. It only needed bandaging, and I've done that often enough before. War is a good teacher. Can you stand? There you go. Good as new. Thank you. If you idlers nothing better to do, get back to work. You'll have to speak to Lord Divish. Can you manage? Sir, this is a survivor from... I heard, Robart. Tell me, boy, what exactly happened? Did you see the insides of the attackers? And were there any more survivors? Sir, um, I don't know what army it was, but it was huge. There were dozens of banners flying on the hill above Scalitz. The ones who did the slaughtering spoke a, a, a strange language. They burned Scalitz to the ground. But a lot of people took refuge in the castle. I wasn't quick enough. And as I fled, they shouted from the battlements that I should come and warn you. The soldiers the boy didn't recognize. They could be those Cumans of Sigismund's. It said they came to Hungary from the east, and now they're the core of his army. Sacking Gutenberg must have given him a taste for stolen silver. Scalus is a small castle, sir. If Sigismund attacks, they can't hold. Indeed, Sir Robard. And our small garrison would be no help, even if we could risk sending them. You think we're next in line? Maybe. What's your name, boy? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I know him. Did he make it inside the castle? I'm sorry. It's in God's hands now. No one else can help us. Anyway, thank you for risking your neck to warn us. Robard, take care of Henry. Make sure he gets something to eat and some rest. Yes, sir. And get all the people inside the gates. We have to prepare for the worst. Make all the necessary arrangements. As you command, sir. All right, you can always see your health in the red bar in the lower edge of the screen. The level of health also determines the maximum level of stamina. So it's always good to heal yourself. Henry routinely heals himself with the aid of food and sleep. For more acute cases, do something else that I can't read fast enough for. So, like I was saying before I kept getting interrupted, thank you guys so much for coming to hang out with me today. I really do appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like button for me. Leave me your thoughts on it down below in the comments, and you can also subscribe to the channel for possibly more Kingdom Come. But definitely other videos. We'll see how you guys like this before I go and record a whole bunch of them. Can I go in the fire? Nope. So, um, last time... Oh, lockpick hard. Last time we did some stuff. We ran some errands. We helped Father make a sword. We got invaded. 
Uh, we ran away, and then we were riding here. Um, and that's the beginning of this one. So, oh, you're in a private area. People don't like it if you go where you're not supposed to be. Oh, if you God enter their houses, they'll just warn you at first, but if you're caught in the castle guardhouse, for example... Be off now! You don't belong risk, here! Okay. You risk immediate arrest. Alright, so where are we supposed to go? Let's get out of here. Hey, guy. You've done well, lad. I'm sorry for your loss. You must be all done in. Why don't you go to the kitchen and have a good meal? Sorrow is easier to bear on a full stomach. I heard about your father. They say he was a swordsmith who moved to the countryside to make How did you manage that? I can't understand why he'd waste his talents, but I'm sure he had a good time. I said it was awful. Um, let's see. Oh no, hers are all question marks, so we don't know. Um so it it seems looks... like any other day. Hey, I didn't choose and then anything. I saw thick smoke rising above the hamlet of Rovna. Soon Sigismund's army were finished there and came for us. The order to attack must have come even before the alarm bell rang. God preserve us. All right, we got success anyway. I didn't choose anything. I just rolled the scroll. Uh, I fled to the castle. I didn't make it inside the castle. So we're all bloody on the back, so we lost a point. If you look in the bottom left there, underneath the the heart with the crown, I guess is what it is. It was a seven before, and now it's a six, which is way better than hers. So let's try that. I ran to the castle for shelter with the others. Behind me, I could hear the shouts of the attackers and the screams of the wounded. Then I turned and saw a father trying to save mother. They, they were both killed. The gate was closed by then. The men on the battlements were calling to me to run and warn you here. And with God's help, I made it. My God, that's horrible. You were lucky to survive. And our thanks for warning us. I'll pray that you see better times. Thanks, lady. So as our skills did in the bottom left down there... Oh, wow. Um, sorry. Uh, our skills in the bottom left when we were talking to her... Uh, they were all question marks. And then after we, talk, after we talked to her once, it revealed a couple... Which is good to know. We can't talk to her. Man, I was just looking at, like, the reflection on the water. Oh, man. Just how everything looks, how he moves. All right, we don't want to steal any horses. So, oh, also, so in the bottom there next to my health, it looks like there's, is that a uh, knife and fork? So I'm getting hungry, and then there's a bed, which is almost halfway filled up. So we need to find some food and we need to find sleep. So if we look at her nour nourishment, it's 14. Our energy is 30. Okay. Conspicuous. Can I turn him around to see if I'm bloody? I know I'm bloody. I saw it on my back. Oh, wow. Villager. Guard. Hey. Open. What? Oh, Alright, where, where am I supposed to be going? Pretzel, baker, uh, that's the house, oh, whoa, did we ride all the way there? So this is where we started, this was the place that got burned, and then we rode out, Rovna, I don't even remember seeing that place, huh, interesting, so look at this, here's the whole map, <laughs> All right, um, whoops. All right, let's get some food, right? What's this? Activity giver. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So activity giver is something we're going to want to check out. Uh, they look like a quarry that we rode through when we came in here. We got unexplored places. Let's grab some food, actually. Right? Can I... Make a marker. There we go. Do I have any food? I do have food. I don't necessarily want to eat my food unless it's going to cost me a lot of money to buy some. Is this where the... 
the food is? Ah, oh, milady. You are fortunate our good lady Stephanie of Talmberg has graced us with her presence. My lady, I'm honored. So this is our brave young man. Welcome, lad. Bojena here will take care of you. No doubt you're tired and hungry. <laughs> Indeed. How could he not be, poor soul? After everything he's been through, he must be as hungry as a bear. Aren't you, young master? Here you are, then. Eat your fill. And a little wine to wash it down. Thank you, my lady. <clears throat> oh, yeah. All the wine, please. When you're done, you can go and rest with the grooms in the outer valley. No, that won't do, Sir Robard. After all he's been through, he deserves a proper bed. Let him sleep in a lodge in the courtyard. Certainly, my lady. Young Henry here is overwhelmed by your generosity. Oh, yes, yes. Thank you, my lady. May God reward you for your kindness. Eat up now. You're in capable hands, so I'll leave you to it. Good night. Good night. Good night, ma'am. Who's that lady? I when didn't you've done, catch it. You can sleep in the bedchamber of the courtyard lodge. And don't forget to take off those filthy boots before getting into bed. I'm not gonna get into bed with my boots on, man. Go with Sir Roderick to the kitchen. It's not wise to ignore hunger. The longer Henry doesn't eat, the weaker he gets. If he fasts long enough, he can even die. Different foods have different properties. An apple won't fill you up like a roast duck, but it may stay fresh longer. Alright, so do I talk to this lady? Talk. Where can I sleep? Where can I buy something? Let's trade. Um. God bless. Can I just eat out of your pot? Alright. So how good are we here? Nourishment 25. Not good. <laughs> can I... I cannot eat some more. Can I... That says Rob. Pick up bread. Okay. Pick up cheese. Does not saying that we're stealing those things. So I'm guessing it's okay to take them. And nobody killed me. Alright, looks like I can have all this stuff. Roast duck? Alright. Alright, so I've taken everything off the table. Uh, except for the wine. And I'll go ahead and take that. And... Lentil mash. Alright, we got a whole bunch of food. I figure, let's go ahead and eat some. So, what won't last so long? Lentil soup? Let's eat this stuff first. Can I sort these? Yes, I can. That is awesome. Okay, so let's eat that. 33. We're going to eat a lot. <laughs> Alright, so everything's at 100%. Let's check stuff that weighs the most. Roast duck? That's not going to last as long, so let's go ahead and eat that. So we have 33 nourishment. What Does it say what it's going to give me? It doesn't. Oh, a quarter of roast duck will fill you up nicely. Nourishment 26. Energy minus 6. Alcohol. Freshness. Weight price. Okay, wow, that's useful information, actually. Alright, so we're at 59. 85. Well, how much does it give me? 26? That's going to be too much. How much is, uh, how much is this one? 17, we only need 15. Yeah, let's do that. 102? How far over 100 can we go? Let's eat another cheese. Do I have 54 apples? Is that what that says? Let's eat an apple. I do have 54 apples. Wait a second. That's going to give me two nourishment each. I saw these... Oh, we're healing. And we're overeating. Okay, alright. Let's go ahead and stop that. It's a pig. <laughs> alright, so next we need to go sleep. Let's... Oh, jeez. 
Uh, can I talk to you? No. Mm. All right. Let's see. Where are we going? We need to go to A. Yeah? Go to the courtyard lodge and sleep until morning. All right. Don't fall asleep on me, guy. Nope. 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 Uh-huh. Did I... I went past it. It's probably this building right here. Okay. No, 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 no. How do I get in here? Uh-huh. You're in a private area? Nope. Sorry. Sorry. Here? If you're tired, your stamina and eloquence will also gradually decrease. Sleep is the solution. Find an available bed, which you'll recognize from the icon on the compass. Look where you're... What the hell was that? Oh, hi. I can tell you what happened, but I don't understand why. We were just going about our usual business when the soldiers came and began their slaughter. Anyone who couldn't flee to the castle was cut down. They destroyed everything. It's a miracle I escaped with my life. Okay, I thought you were going to yell at me for being in here. Alright, so I gotta take off my boots before I get in bed, yeah? Can I sit? No. Here. Let's take off my boots like the guy said, because I don't want to get in trouble. Can I... Uh, boots? Aha! I did it. And then sleep. Uh, one hour, plus one hour, minus one hour. Uh, how long do you sleep? Effects, comfort, nourishment, energy. Let's get our energy all the way up. I mean, okay, what's this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can't sleep any longer now. So seven to seven, 12 hours. That's as far as we can go. Go. This is kind of cool. I like this sleep clock thing. Today the patrols will be doubled. Keep your eyes peeled. If you see anything out of the ordinary, report it immediately. Understood? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes? It is I, Henry. Forgive the intrusion. I didn't wake you, boy, did I? Uh, my lady... Uh... Um, no, no, not at all. But what brings you here at this hour? I thought you could do with a little wine. It's just what you need to help you sleep. My lady, um, thank you. You really shouldn't. You could have sent a servant. I was going to. But, to tell you the truth, I couldn't sleep either. I thought of you while saying my prayers. How awful it must have been for you. I came to offer you solace. To let you know you're not alone. Thank you. Thank you kindly. You're welcome. Now, Henry. I know this is all very new and strange for you. But I want you to feel at home here. You're not to worry about anything except getting better. God knows you've been through a terrible ordeal. I know what it is to be left alone in the world. Although your loss is much greater. But with God's help, the pain will ease in time. And it can help to talk about it, if you feel like it. Thanks, nice lady. You can't just talk about it. Tell the story of the raid. You might be right, my lady. I'll tell you what happened. It was terrible and unexpected. The day started just like any other. 
Father sent me into town on some errands. I went to the tavern for ale and met my sweetheart Bianca. Oh! Oh no! A ah. fellow by the name of Kunish owed money to Father, who sent me to collect it. We have a time limit to choose Early those. Kunish had no intention of paying. It got a bit heated, as often happens when there's money involved. But Kunish still wouldn't cough up the coin. Father was too generous for his own good, letting even a scoundrel like that buy on credit. Oh. Success! When I'd done all the errands, I headed back home. I promised Father I'd help him with his work, and I was looking forward to it. He was forging a sword for Sir Radzik. Oh, jeez. Okay, we can still do good with this one. I've been secretly learning. Oh. The sword was taking shape when Sir Radzik himself came to have a look at it. He praised Father's work and said that with his smithing skills, he could easily make a living in Prague or Vienna. You don't say. Learn a new level in speech! The figures yes. sword was already on the horizon, ready to attack the town. Uh, three. I have better speech. I have better... Oh, she has better strength. Saw so smoke on the horizon. There was a huge horde of attackers. I saw smoke on the horizon from a village Sigismund pillaged on the way to our town, which was soon to meet the same fate. God have mercy. And then death descended on Scalitz. Um. Um, speech. I saw them kill my girl, Bianca. Uh... The no. gate to the castle was oh. open. The bells and horns sounded the I alarm. scrolled the too many. <laughs> ran to the castle to take cover. It's okay. They were carrying the few possessions they could grab in haste, and I saw the terror in their eyes. I can't even imagine how awful it must have been. I ran to the castle like our neighbors to take cover, but I didn't make it. I had to find another way to save myself. The men on the battlements called down to me to flee to Talmberg and warn you. I was lucky I knew a concealed path around the castle. Okay. So, let's do... I needed a horse to get to the safety of Talmberg and to warn you all. And with all that was happening, you thought of others like a good Christian. Then I heard a scream. It was Teresa, the mill wench. She'd been caught by a gang of cumin savages who planned to violate her. Why? I helped the mill wench. I wanted to help the m mill maid, but I couldn't. I wanted to help her. God knows I wanted to. But even though I had the sword we made for Sir Radzik, they had me outnumbered and they were well armed, too. I only just managed to grab one of their horses and ride off. I couldn't help her any more than I could have helped my parents. It wasn't your fault. I'll never forget the horror. It will haunt me for the rest of my life. That's terrible. How could something like that happen? God alone knows why he lets such things happen. Oh, you poor boy. I understand your grief, but God is not to blame for the ills of this world. That is the work of Satan and those who do his bidding. Those who are corrupted by greed, envy and pride. You must not lose faith, whatever life brings. Fate has not been merciful to me and my husband either. Although in comparison to the horrors you went through. I was young when I married my husband. It was my father's wish. Divish was a lot older than I, but a woman must bear her lot. Shortly after our marriage, before I even got a look at Talmberg, the castle was stormed and my husband was imprisoned. Really? My husband had some quarrel with Sir Havel Medek of Valdek, who decided to resolve it by force. He stormed the castle, burned down the village of Probislavitz, and killed many of our men, even the old Chamberlain. He imprisoned my husband in the castle and put his own garrison there. That's awful. I was barely 18 years old and all of a sudden I was left alone with Sir Robert. We didn't know what to do. 
We went to Prague to appeal to the king and sought help from divisious friends, but all to no avail. We tried for years, but it seemed I was destined to be left alone and my husband to rot in jail in his own castle. Years, you say? Seven years. That's how long it took before Havel was condemned as an enemy of the crown. And even then, he refused to surrender the castle and release my husband. In the end, I raised the money to pay a ransom. And only then, by the grace of Lord Jesus, did I finally lay eyes on my husband once more. Seven years. And was Havel punished for it? Never. And after seven years, my husband returned to me an infirm old man. Infirm? Sir Divish seems like a good, strong man. Well, certainly. Flaccid? Only he has many <laughs> concerns. He had to rebuild Talmberg. After he was released, the king appointed him Burgrave of Prague Castle, and he was very busy. He had no time for me at all. But at least we were in the city, and there was something going on. And now, we're here. My lady, you're still young and beautiful. Your best years are still ahead of you. Would that that were true, lad. Would it were true. But what am I doing bothering you with this? You have troubles enough of your own. I'll go and let you sleep. I enjoyed our little talk, Henry. Good night, and God bless. Good night, my lady. I wonder what would have happened if I would have taken off all my clothes before I went to sleep. <laughs> if he would have just been there in his underwear. Wake up. You don't want to miss this. What is it? What's happening? Come to the battlements. One of our patrols reported a company heading here from Skelets. Go to the battlements. All right. Well, that was a good story time. And uh, let's see if we can put our boots back on. Um, yeah, perfect. And also, I feel like that is going to be a good place to leave this episode. Is there a way? Oh, a torch. Uh, if you need a light at the night, at night, use your torch by holding one. But if you want to keep your left hand free, for example, to use a shield, it's better to drink Nighthawk potion for better night vision. Oh. Okay. Weird. <laughs> uh, yeah. So that's going to be it for this episode. So thank you guys so much for coming to hang out with me today. I really do appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like button for me. Leave me your thoughts on it down below in the comments. And you can also subscribe to the channel for more Kingdom Come and other videos. Which way are we going now? Hold on. Let's take this marker off and then I want to check these out, but here's where we're going, so we'll mark that. Yeah, are we going up? No. Yeah? We're going, we are going up, right? Can I go up? Wait. Nettle? Huh. 
Wait, no, here. Where? Where'd you go? <laughs> uh, more? Oh, yeah. Okay. I guess I can't climb that ladder. Anyway, thanks again for coming to hang out with me today, you guys. I really do appreciate it. Uh, uh. We'll see you next time. Later, guys.